Plead or no plead, KDP Interiors. Hi, I'm Kerry from Dream Creator B, where I give you honest reviews and tips about making money online. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button to be notified about any other videos I make. So today what I'm discussing about is bleed or no bleed when it comes to your KDP Interiors. And that certainly is the question. So let's have a look here. I have got PowerPoint set up and I have set up my slide design as six by nine. So what I normally do when I'm creating any of my interiors, I create myself a margin box so that I know where I'm working. And what this is, is usually it is half an inch going all the way around. So what I create is a box and I usually have it as a fill when I set it out. But when I finish filling, setting it out, I change it to no fill and I usually put it on a master slide. But what I do is I create it so that if it's a six by nine, if it is a six width, I give it five inches as a width. And if it's a height of nine, I give it eight because I want the half inch going all the way around. And then I set the horizontal position as half an inch and the vertical position as half an inch and you do the exact same thing if it's eight and a half by eleven if it's eight and a half by eleven it's seven and a half and if it's eleven it's ten so you're making sure you get the whole half inch now yes you can do left or right side but that's just a bit more complicated because then you need to be messing with a 0.25 on one on one side and a 0.375 on another side so this is a lot easier when you get started and in fact I still go back to it today. So what is the difference between bleed and no bleed? Well, no bleed is the types of books that I normally create. Why? Because they're a lot easier to just go along creating and you're not worried about what's going to be cut out. So with no bleed, everything needs to be inside this box that includes images, lines, text, everything. With bleed, it's different. Images don't have to be with inside the this box here, the margin, the safety margin. Text does though. So in this image here, this is a no bleed image book. So everything, the image, any text that I have with it. So if I type some text there, like aeroplane, aeroplane, that would have to remain inside the text box. That text box needs to remain. If I put it over there, then that would not work at all. Everything needs to be inside this text box. But if you're doing bleed, then any of your images can actually be outside of the text box, but any text, so if we have, say, aeroplane on there, the text needs to also remain inside this box. It cannot go outside because otherwise that will be cut off. So a good example here is we have some lines and the lines are going all the way to the edge and they will be cut off. But our text again needs to stay in the margin. Amazon does it best explaining. They have all the set time, but this is an example of bleed. So we can see that with no bleed, all the text and image all remains with inside the margin. With bleed, it remains outside. And then when they do the final cutting, you can see that the image again is still with inside. But when they've cut the final one with bleed, it is on the outside. When you're doing bleed, you need to actually change the size of your book. So your width needs to be increased by 0.125 and your height needs to be increased by 0.25. So let's go back to the PowerPoint and you can actually see this. So if you want bleed to change on the size of your book, all you do is you add 0.125 to the width and 0.25 to the height. So a 6x9 book becomes a 6.125 and your height becomes 9.25. But yet again, everything should stay within the margin. So that is the difference between bleed or no bleed. So how would you go about actually choosing to have bleed or no bleed? And like I said, that is the question. Now, if you are doing log books or uh, planners or weekly planners or diaries or anything, I would choose 
no bleed. But if I'm doing composition books or certain types of children's books where I want a double spread and I want the images to go all the way to the edge, then I would choose bleed. So if I'm doing a colouring book, I also tend to choose no bleed because I want everything in the margin. But if it's something with a fancy border or anything like that that I've created, then I might go for bleed. And then because you don't mind the border being cut off and that has got to be your choice so it's got to be your choice if you if you want your images to be cut off then you choose bleed if you don't want your images to be cut off then you choose no bleed and that is what you do now in the description there will be a link for you to get hold of some free templates that i have created there are three different templates um all lined notepaper different sizes there's college rule narrow rule wide rule and there's some bleed and no bleed and also there is left to write on that and then you can also see how i've created the tables in that in my next video i'm going to be showing you how to create a weekly planner in powerpoint which you can be getting ready to be using for quarter four thank you for watching if you have any questions go and watch the video again or ask questions in the comments over on the right hand side there are some training and review videos. If you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to be notified about any new videos on my channel.